In the sleepy village of Marabella, nestled along the southern coast of Trinidad, there lived a woman named Mala. By day, she was a friendly, if somewhat aloof, villager. But by night, Mala transformed into something far more sinister, a sukuyont. Mala's quaint wooden house stood on the outskirts of the village, surrounded by lush, overgrown foliage. Its dilapidated appearance belied the true nature of its occupant. The villagers often whispered about strange lights and eerie sounds emanating from her home after dark, but none dared to investigate. They knew the legends all too well. A Sukuyan was not to be trifled with. The Sukuyan, a creature from Caribbean folklore, was a shape-shifting, blood-sucking entity that shed its skin at night to transform into a ball of fire, seeking out victims to drain of their life force. Mala had inherited the curse from her grandmother, a powerful Obeya woman who had dabbled in dark magic. One balmy evening, as the moon rose high and full, Mala felt the familiar urge stirring within her. She locked the door to her home, making sure the heavy wooden shutters were firmly in place. Then, she lit a single candle and sat before it, her eyes reflecting the flickering flame. Slowly, she began to peel off her skin, hanging it carefully on a nail behind her door. Her true form emerged, a glowing, fiery orb that floated silently into the night. Mala's destination was the small ramshackle home of old man Joseph a retired fisherman who lived alone at the edge of the village. Joseph was known for his tall tales of sea monsters and mermaids, but tonight he would encounter something far more terrifying. The Sukuyant hovered outside his window, its fiery glow casting ominous shadows on the walls. Inside, Joseph stirred in his sleep, troubled by dreams of the deep ocean. As the Sukuyant slipped through a crack in the window, Joseph's eyes snapped open. He felt an icy chill despite the warm night and sat up to find the source. His heart pounded as he saw the glowing orb hovering near the foot of his bed. With a speed that belied its ethereal nature, the Sukuyant darted towards Joseph its fiery tendrils wrapping around him. Joseph struggled, his screams muffled as the life was drained from his body. Within moments, his wrinkled skin turned pale, and his eyes glazed over with the emptiness of death. Satisfied and re-energized, the Sukuyan retreated, leaving Joseph's lifeless body behind. The next morning, the village was abuzz with the news of old man Joseph's death. The local inspector, Ramjit, was called in to investigate. A shrewd and determined man, Ramjit had heard the tales of the Sukuyan since childhood. Unlike others, he didn't dismiss them as mere folklore. He had seen too much in his career to ignore the possibility of the supernatural. As he examined Joseph's body, Ramjet noted the unusual pallor and the tiny puncture marks on the neck, signs he had seen before. His mind raced back to similar cases in other villages, all unsolved, all attributed to the mysterious Sukuyan. Determined to get to the bottom of this, he decided to keep a close watch on Mala whose odd behavior had not escaped his notice. Days turned into weeks, and Ramjit observed Mala from a distance, noting her nocturnal habits and the strange lights that often glowed from her home. 
he decided to set a trap using himself as bait. One night, he stayed alone in a small hut near Mala's home, pretending to sleep while keeping his senses alert. As midnight approached, Ramjit saw the familiar fiery glow approaching. His heart raced, but he remained still, waiting. The Sukuyan slipped into the hut, moving towards him. Just as it was about to strike, Ramjit threw a handful of salt, a known deterrent, at the creature. The Sukuyan shrieked and recoiled, its fiery form flickering wildly. In that moment of weakness, Ramjit lunged forward, grabbing the Sukuyan's skin from its hiding place. The creature, now vulnerable, writhed in agony. Ramjit knew what he had to do. He doused the skin in salt and holy water, causing it to disintegrate before his eyes. The Sukuyant, deprived of its protective skin, burst into a final blaze of light before vanishing into the night, leaving nothing but a faint smell of sulfur. Mala was gone, and with her, the curse that had plagued Marabella for generations. The villagers never knew the true nature of the threat that had haunted them, but they celebrated the end of the deaths and the strange occurrences. Inspector Ramjit, though he never spoke of the night's events, kept a watchful eye over the village, ready to protect them from whatever other dark forces might arise from the depths of Caribbean folklore. For more Creepy Island stories, check us out on YouTube. Ah, short creepy stories, 8 hos 888.